More now on the developing story about a Belfont woman arrested for killing a man while driving high on chemicals. The Center County District Attorney releasing more details about the crash and really what makes this case unusual. Six News reporter Aaron Calandra has the story. Police say catching someone driving while drunk isn't anything unique, but driving while huffing? Well, that's something they don't see every day. They do them in a stationary place, in a home. Um, and even if they do them in a car, it's in a parking lot, and they wait. Um, there until their high wears off. But police say that's not what Danielle Packer of Belfont decided to do back in August 2012. Police say she inhaled two cans of aerosol duster while driving along Benner Pike, a narrow two-lane highway. A deadly mistake. She was huffing while driving the vehicle, and so the danger to the public is so extreme, it's almost like doing something that guarantees unconsciousness while driving a deadly weapon. And that's why District Attorney Stacy Parks Miller says Packer isn't just facing homicide by vehicle, she's facing third degree murder along with more than a dozen other counts. This behavior was similar to putting a bullet in a loaded gun and shooting it into a crowd. It almost is a guaranteed likelihood that somebody was going to suffer death or serious bodily injury. And unfortunately it did. Packer's car crashed head on with a car driven by Matthew Snyder of Belfont, killing him at the scene, leaving a toddler, daughter, and wife behind. So as a family man, simply trying to go to work and uh, make a living, and um, the worst thing that could happen did happen. Packer is scheduled to face a judge this month. She's in the Center County Jail on $500,000 bail in State College. Erin Calandra, 6 News.